Hey there, this is Matteo from Spada Milano and today we're in Via Finzi, very close to Via Le Monza, Gorla and Turro in order to show you a whole apartment with two bedrooms, kitchen, living room, bathroom and a balcony which is located on the ground floor, just a slightly elevated one it is accessible both through the stairs or through the elevator if you're really lazy so now let's just go ahead and let me show you around so this is the entrance hall to our apartment on the left we already have a standalone wardrobe which you can use for storage as well as a coat hanger Proceeding, here on the left we find the living room with the access to the balcony on the right. Turning to this side we have the kitchen. While continuing we find the bathroom still on the right. Bedroom number one over here and bedroom number two on the left. So we just quickly begin our tour with the main bedrooms. Both of them are triple ones. But in bedroom number one we find a large double bed plus a single one. In this corner we have a very tall and large uh, standalone wardrobe, very spacious, we do have a shelving uh, coat hanger and at the bottom we also find a chest of drawers, as you can see. All of the bed spots come with their bed linen and towels provided and we also find these uh, lovely bedside tables on the sides. There are also some uh, colorful decorations all around the apartment. Up there we find the air conditioning unit. And over here we find a classic style chest of drawers, still functional and handy. Here are the towels provided and we also have a little desk which you can use to study or work from home. Some more decorations over here. And this is just another quick look at this bright and colorful first bedroom. It is an interior bedroom so we're overlooking this interior courtyard. We do find uh, safety fences as we are on the ground floor and there's also a mosquito net, as you can tell. The location is very convenient, as we mentioned we're a few steps away from uh, Viale Monza, which is a very popular street with plenty of uh, shops and restaurants. We do find a 24-hour supermarket, just uh, three minutes walk away, so that's uh, super convenient as well. So besides that we also find post offices, pharmacies and so on. We're now looking at uh, bedroom number two, which is uh, still a triple one, but in this case we find uh, three single beds. Again, all of them come with the bed linen and towels provided. There's a bedside table here and over there. Another colorful decoration there on the top, while on top of the entrance door we have a second air conditioning unit. Over here we find some room for the shoes and a large standalone wardrobe again. With some shelvings inside and some organizers at the bottom. So plenty of space to store all of your clothing. These uh, French doors are leading to the private balcony of the apartment, which is an interior one. We're gonna show you the view later on, as it is also accessible from the living room, as we mentioned. As for the public transport, the nearest underground stop is Gorla, belonging to line number one, but you can also walk to Turro which is uh, slightly closer to the city center and that still belongs to line number one. So both of them connect you to Loreto or Duomo in a very quick ride. This is the colorful and bright uh, bathroom in which we have both of the toilets, the voucher and bidet. These tiles are gonna be fixed uh, in a few days, so they'll be ready by the time you walk in. As you can tell, we have a double sink and at the bottom we find some uh, cupboards you can store the hygiene products, some drawers, and there's also one here on the side. A very large mirror all around. And in this corner we have a box shower, which is uh, fairly spacious, and it comes with uh, sliding doors. Down here we have a little washing machine. It's not super spacious, but can be enough for a few washings. Now turning back towards the entrance corridor, we can show you the kitchen. Again, very colorful and bright. We find this uh, little standalone flat screen TV. In this cupboard we have a microwave and plenty of cupboards all around. Where you can store the food as well as the necessary for cooking. While in this one we have the fridge. And at the bottom we've got the freezer as well with three compartments. Over there you got a little table with four seats, a shelving on the top with a coffee machine there. While on the kitchen counter itself we find a double sink 
There's also a flexible hood, which is handy for doing your dishes. On the top we get a cupboard, which includes the rack to dry your plates after washing. And there's uh, several of them provided, as well as uh, glasses and mugs for breakfast. Just a technical compartment over there. Some more utensils. Room at the bottom for the rubbish. And here you've got some of the pots provided with the apartment. A very large uh, gas stove with its uh, fan on the top. And at the bottom we find these uh, drawers, including a large set of cutlery. Some more towels. And here are some more pots as well. Another cabinet where you can store the food. Boiler for the water. And some more compartments here on the top. This window is sharing the same view as uh, bedroom number one, so we're still overlooking this uh, interior courtyard. And now heading back towards the entrance, we can show you the final room, which is the living room. At the moment it's been set up as a third bedroom with this double bed, but this can be folded up when you don't need it. So this is just for occasional guests. Even here we find a third uh, air conditioning unit. There's a couple of uh, large uh, desks with their chairs, as well as a round colorful table here with five seats. We find another flat screen TV on top of that uh, cupboard. Again, uh, plenty of colors all around. There's also a rack to hang your coats. This is just the additional double bed. Although this apartment is recommended for, for five, five people. We got a very large uh, window which is overlooking the entrance to our building which is just uh, down here we do have our reception service for it and now through this uh, french door we can access the private balcony of the apartment which is an interior one so we're overlooking again the interior courtyard that's just a secondary street so that's pretty quiet and just past it we do have a public uh, villa with a very nice park, so that's a very nice spot for chilling out outside on uh, warmer days. So overall, this is a super spacious and colorful apartment. It can host a lot of people, although it is recommended for not too many, given the single bathroom. Very conveniently located close to Via de Monza, and with a quick access to the city center with the underground line number one. So with this, we should do other things. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. <laughs> ciao, ciao.